is just one minor little difference to yesterday. Okay? Now, this is, new f this is not new for any of you. You've all done addition. Like, that's all, like, junior high. It's fraction after fraction after fraction, right? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, over and over, right? So, what we're trying to do here is we're taking it to a level with variables. That's the only thing. But the way you did it in grade 8 is the same way we do it here. If you have 2 thirds divided by 1 6, this is equivalent to 2 thirds times 6 over 1. So there's two things that need to happen to be able to keep these equivalent. You must take the division sign and change it to a multiplication sign. You must take 1 6 and, and change it to 6 over 1. Now, Yes, we can go on multiplying, but what's the fun of that? Let's do some reducing. We've got a 6 up top and a 3 on the bottom. Divide each by 3. You got 2. You got 1. Now you multiply them. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. The answer is 4 over 1. Now, that's the only thing that's different. Okay? Now, let's look at this one here. X minus 3 over x squared minus 9 divided by x over x plus 3. Okay? Now, the first thing we'd want to do is don't get flipping things right away. Factor. Is there anything that could be factored in this? Can anything be taken out or can it be factored? That is a difference of squares. Okay? So, x minus 3 staying up top over x plus 3, x minus 3, all divided by x over x plus 3. Okay, so number one, you factor first. And that's why if you stick with the, these, this order, it will always serve you well, right? When you start doing things out of order, you'll confuse yourself, and you're going to start making some bad decisions. The second thing now is you do your flip. Now, sometimes a mistake students make is they flip the first one. You can never flip the first one. It's always the second one. Okay? So all I did was change it to a multiplication sign and I flipped it. Now, get canceling stuff. This cancels with this. This cancels with this which I guess I could have canceled before. So what am I left with up top? A 1 over x. Now, the non-permissible values. You need to go back to the original question. What's bad here? What's bad right there? Negative 3 there. 3 there. Negative 3. Okay? Now, even though this is going to be flipped, it doesn't matter. If it was bad here, it still continues to be bad. Okay? So, we've got plus or minus 3. That handles what we see in the question. Then, I did a flip. All of a sudden, I have a new denominator. Now, it wasn't bad when it was here. But it turned bad. So now, what's not allowed? 0. So, x cannot equal 0 and plus or minus 3. So that's why you'd never want to flip first, right? Do all your factoring. And when you factor, it's way easier to find non-permissibles. It's harder to find non-permissibles when it's like this big honking thing, right? And you're like trying to shove numbers in. But now, like when you look at it like this, oh yeah, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. And if it's an x by itself, it's just going to be 0. Okay? Yep. Okay. Since there's nothing up top, you have to put a 1. Okay? And if there was nothing on the bottom, you can put a 1 too. Okay? Just like up here. There really wasn't anything on the bottom. So you could just say this is 4. Now, no, you don't have to. But this one, you definitely have to put the 1. Right? Because 1 over x is not the same thing as x. And I've had students say that. They'll go 1 over x and they'll say that. And I'll go, really? Like, where did you learn that? 
Right? So that's not true. Kid, 1 over x doesn't equal x. Muhammad, you with me here? Okay, yeah. this does not equal x, right? That's 1 over x. It's like saying 1 third is the same thing as 3. It's not. Okay, 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. Okay, but not. Okay, so here's what we did. We said a times c is ac, b times d, right? Here we multiply by the reciprocal and we get a new non-permissible. Okay, so here's all your steps, but you don't need to know that many. Okay, so we're just going to do some examples. I'm going to show you the best way to go through these. And some of you will do it on the quiz, and some of you won't. Okay? So I'll tell you, these are contrived. I told you that already. They want to know, hey, are you going to factor first, or are you going to ignore that step? If you ignore that step on the diploma, not only will it take you a long time to do, you'll get it wrong. Those are two really bad things in a diploma. Taking time on a question that shouldn't take a lot of time and doing it wrong. Because it actually kills you in two ways because now you get a rush in other parts of your test to make up for that one question you did wrong anyway. Okay? So know your steps. Always factor first. Okay? Now, if you look at x minus 5, there's nothing to factor there. 5, no. Okay, 3x squared minus 9x. I can take out a 3x. So I got x minus 5. Take out a 3x, and that would leave you with x minus 3. I'm going to do my division sign. I got a 5 here. You cannot factor a 5. It's 5, right? But 6x minus 18, I can take out a 6, and x minus 3. Now, at this point, you know what we're going to be doing, so you can see how contrived it is. No, you can't, because they're on the same level. You can't cancel the same thi on the same level. Now, at this stage, what non-permissibles do I have? What are my non-permissibles? Three is bad and and zero. Okay. Now, will those ever go away? No. They could not be. Five is five bad. Okay. Go back to your notes and said when I ever said. The numerator cannot equal zero. Okay? Zero divided by eight. Put it into your calculator. Just try it. Zero divided by eight. You get zero. It will give you an answer. You try eight divided by zero, and it will scream at you. It does. It has like an exclamation mark. It's like, y you dummy. You can't divide by zero. Right? That's what it's saying. It's actually, I mean, some of you guys don't pick up on it, but it's insulting you. It's calculator laughing at you. Like you divided by zero? Did you know you can't do that? Probably not. Okay. Mm so I know it's hard on your self-esteem, but, you know, it's telling you, can't divide by zero. So five is okay, right? So now, after I've done my factoring, because that factoring helps me with my non-permissibles, then I will rewrite it. Oops. Okay, and then I will go times 6 bracket x minus 3 over 5. Now, did I introduce a new non-permissible? No, not in this case. Nothing new came along. If that would have been a 5 or 5 minus x, yeah, there'd be a new non-permissible. Okay, and then these cancel. Anything else? 3 and 6, so I would divide each by 3. How about that x and that x? Oh, yeah. I shouldn't put that. Let's do that, okay? But why can't I cancel these out? Is that x multiplying up top? No, so you can't do that. Because the 5, because oh, this is perfect, eh? Woo! Gone. Like, I know it looks good. It's wrong, but it looked good, okay? Because that x and that 5 aren't multiplying. Like, if this was 5x, right, then you're going crazy. You can, but you can't because of 
They're not multiplying. So what am I left with up top? 2 and it's times x minus 5 all over 5x. x cannot equal 3 and 0. Or most times, not most times, always. They'll put it in order, 0 and 3. No, we can't. There's no x to cancel it with. Some people wanted to cancel with this one, but you can't. Can you reduce those fives? That's a good question. I don't want you to have any doubts in your diploma. Can you cancel those fives? Why not, though? No. has nothing to do with it being negative. I, is that 5 multiplying to a number right now? No. So unless, if, if you had 5, you can cancel it. But if you have x plus 5 over 5, they want you to do that and write this on your diploma. Okay? That's what they, that's the biggest distractor they're going to have on there. You can't do that. Okay? I don't want you to have any doubt in your mind when you're at the, you're like, oh, you said so many times, of course we're going to do it, right? Like, I need you to be sick of hearing it, right? I need you to have absolutely no doubt going to that diploma that that never works, okay? So, let's do the next one, okay? 2W, not doing anything with it. Anything on the bottom? 4 and a W, that would leave me with? 6 plus w divided by, take out a 6w, that would be minus 1, good, all over 9w squared w plus 6. Okay, now, what's bad here? 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 And here? Minus 6, okay? So will those be included in my final answer? Yes, okay? Now, of course they want you to think that after you do the flip, these will go away, but they don't. They're still, now, they've been repeated. So this wouldn't be a good diploma question because they want to know if you would get away with those. And so they'll have two answers that are identical except the non-permissibles will be different, right? To even make it more challenging for you. So we know that right away what's not good. Next step. I will multiply by the reciprocal of the other one, 9w squared all over 6w, w minus 1. Okay, w plus 6 and the 6, is that are those the same? Yes. It's when that minus sign is in there, it makes things complicated. What else? Okay, but what about these two even? I could simplify. Yeah, so you could do that, but I'm, I see a 9 and 6 working together here. So the 2 and the 4, I'm going to divide those each. I'm going to cancel these two Ws, right? So kind of circle what's left, because they do get lost in the shuffle. Okay, and then the 9 and the 6, I can divide each by 3. So, oops, this will be 3, this will be 2. Okay, I can cancel. There's a W1 there. So yeah, there's two. So I will make that into a 1, W to the 1, and that's just gone. So up top, I have a th 3 times W. And on the bottom, I have the 2 times this 2 and the W minus 1. So 2 times 2 is 4, W minus 1. W cannot equal 0, negative 6, and 1. Yes.
Okay, so they're not going to get more difficult than this. Okay, let's do a couple more just because I think uh, they're just good to practice. Okay, the top one, what can I take out? 15x, that would leave me with 2x plus 1. The x minus 3, not going to do much with that one. Top, just x? x squared, leave me with 2x plus 1. Bottom, it's the best I can do, x minus 3. Okay, so again, right away we know 3 is bad, 0 is bad, and 3 is bad there. So we got to make sure we get those later. Then don't cro you can't cancel anything right now, not until you get it to multiplication. So I will write the first fraction out like it is. The second one will get multiplied by, and I shouldn't use the time sign because I'll get that mixed up. Let's use a dot. x times x minus 3 all over x squared times 2x plus 1. Yep. 2x plus 1. You got an x1 and an x1 and an x2, right? So I got x to the 2 up top, so that one would cancel with one of these. And then this one would cancel with the other one. So I'm just left with this equals 15. X cannot equal. Let's see if we get them all. Start at the top. The very first one is plus 3. The next one, 0. Got that one. 0 there, right? Got that one. And this one would be negative 1 over 2. Okay, so I'm just going to press pause on this. I want you all to try B. I want to come around and see it. Okay, so let me go through this because I know what you're all thinking, right? These are a lot of fun. And I agree with you. They are good times. Now, the first thing you have to recognize are those uh, difference of squares, right? Now, see, this is a perfect square, 4x squared. So is that. Always know 1 is a perfect square, okay? And that only comes from experience. That's why we're doing these in class, right? Because 1 times 1 is 1. It's a perfect square. 1's a perfect square. 4, 9, 16, right? Those are all your perfect squares. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, dot, 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 36. So the first thing you should have done is this is 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1 doesn't matter. On the bottom here is x plus 2. Then you divide, right? Use your division sign. I can take out a 2x here, leaving you with 2x, you say minus 1? Plus 1. On the bottom, you would take out an 8, leaving you with x squared minus 4. Now, only if you have been doing enough of these would a little flag be waving right now going, hey, that's another difference of perfect squares. So I'm just going to rewrite this line. I know it takes time and it sucks and all that stuff, but it does help us keep everything straight. Now I have my 8, and this is x plus 2 x minus 2. Okay, so you have to look. Do you have that? Because I tell you, if you didn't have this, you're really stuck at that point, right? So this is an exercise in factor it first, then do your division. And if you don't recognize the perfect squares, you will be stuck and you will get nothing like the question in the multiple choice. Okay, now, now that I've done that, I have my 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2 times 8 x plus 2 times x minus 2 all over 2x times 
times 2x plus 1. And double check, because if you're anybody like me, I probably missed three things when I did that flip. Okay? Probably forgot to write that down or missed my x or whatever. Right? Happens to me every time. Now, this is fun. Okay? I got an x plus 2. I've got an 8 and a 2. I'm going to divide each by 4. 2. Leaving me with a 4. Okay? You know what I was thinking. So, and uh, someone had all this perfect. It was just like this. And then they didn't write the right stuff down, right? Because they actually uh, didn't see what was really left, okay? And I don't know if you have a highlighter. Like, you need um, highlighters in on your diploma, right? Highlight stuff, right? I'll get you. I'll even show off. I'll show you my highlighter. So, I have that. I have this left. I have this left. And down here, I just have that. So then, I usually put my number out front, and then I have 2x minus 1, and I have x minus 2, and on the bottom, I just have that x. Now, the challenge is half done, because I got it now, but I have to find out all the non-permissibles. What can't x equals? Now, do not just go to the answer. They want you to do that. They want you to ignore this step here. Okay? Now, this one is going to be covered because here's negative 2 is bad. And it's bad here again. And then also 2. Now, do you see 2 would not be chosen at all if you only look to the answer? Right? If you only look to the answer, why is 2 bad? I don't know. I don't know. It does look bad to me. Right? So we got negative 2, negative 2, and 2. So we got x cannot be plus or minus 2. Check. Now I go to the next, the, uh, okay, Ooh, uh, negative 2. Got it. 0. Yeah, 0 would be bad there. How about here? Negative 1 half. Now don't stop there. Go to the answer. Oh, 0 is bad there. I already have it. So this would be your final answer. Okay, now this is what I would consider an excellence question. Okay, but it will be on the diploma. So, uh, if, you, if you know what's coming, right, take out something, difference of squares. And then, that's I, I know that's where they, just most students would just be stuck. Okay. So I am trying to do as many difference of squares on every quiz, on the notes. So it's not like, whoa, what's this thing? Okay? And just always be careful. Like if you had x squared plus 4, you can't do that one. That's not x plus 2, x minus 2. I'll show you why. That's x squared minus 2x. That's plus 2x minus 4. These two would cancel x squared minus 4. See, x squared minus 4 is not the same as x squared plus 4. Okay? So x squared plus 4, you cannot factor. Nothing you can do with it. x squared minus 4, yeah. x minus 2, x plus 2. And just make sure these two multiply to make that, and these two multiply to make that. All right? If they have 4x or, say, 9x squared minus 16, 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4. See, 3x times 3x, 9x squared, negative 4 times 4, negative 16. Okay? Does that make sense, the difference of squares? They're both perfect squares. Right? When you square root 9x squared, you get 3x. Because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Okay, if you had 25x to the 4 minus 9x squared, what would that be? Five x two, right? It's five times five is 24. X to the two times x to two is x to the four, minus plus three x. Okay. Yeah, if you foiled it, you will get this. Okay. 
Okay, so page 99 to 101. I know. 1, B and C. 2, B and C. 4, 6, and then 7, C and D. I bet you didn't do those ones, Yusuf. Okay, we good? You got it down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, I didn't give you many questions because I want you to finish in class, so don't waste this time. I find my math lessons make a lot of you have to pee. See, another one down. I just recorded that. <laughs>